Hello everyone and welcome to Zabla's Kitchen. Today I'm going to be making sausage and vegetables. Right here I have some, uh, what is it, cheddar bratwurst that we're going to be cooking up and we're going to be tossing it in some peppers and onions and some zucchini. So how we're going to do this is we are going to Bake it in the air fryer, which is over here. Uh, you could bake this in the oven. You could even cook it on, um, you can cook the brat on a grill, or you can even put it, you do everything in a pan on the stove. But I'm going to do it in the air fryer. So without further ado, let's get to cooking. All right, so first things first, I'm going to chop the green pepper. Now you could use green, red, yellow, orange, whatever you want. I only had green on hand, so this is unfortunately what I'm going to be using. Um, it would be better if it was multicolored. That would be nice, but it's fine. It's not a big deal. I'm just going to get the seeds out. I don't know why it, the seeds spilled all over. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut these into little strips. So we're going to cut them just like that. Just like this. That's how we're going to cut them. And I'm going to place them right on the pan here. One pepper. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take our onion and chop it in half. So what I like about this is I like that it is all just in one pan. Now, when you cook it on the stove, again, that could also be in one pan as well. Because you could chop everything up and di uh, dice up the brats as well and kind of throw everything together and that's what I'm going to do today sorry and the way I'm going to chop this onion is I'm just going to again make strips that way we can spread it out and it will be delicious This onion, the the rest of the onion, this other half. That way, I really did thought I had another pepper. I'm sad that I don't, but I'm gonna go ahead and just chop this up. Just like that. And then for our zucchini, I'm going to chop off that and this. I'm going to go right down the middle. And I'm going to cut it again down in the middle. And we're going to do, oh, I guess I didn't have to. That's fine. We could do little pieces like this. So just like that, we're going to chop it. Now these are going to be into two pieces because I didn't have to cut it in the middle, but it's fine. I'm trying not to get thick pieces just so it all cooks evenly. love when everything just goes everywhere when you chop. So let's just go ahead and now you can add anything to this honestly. 
you can add, I mean, you can add celery, you can add carrots, you can add uh, peppers, you can add, obviously we're adding peppers, onions, and zucchini. You could do eggplant, you could do pretty much any vegetable, I feel. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot. We're also going to do potato. And I'm just going to chop them. Well, first I'm going to wash a few and then I'm going to chop them. See, we got just potatoes like this. And I'm just going to cut them just like this. Probably cut them in half just to kind of have it in those strips. And you could chop up as many potatoes as you want. I might do more just because I feel like I need more. Go ahead and chop them up. This could be good. I can already I can already taste this. This could be great. Chop them up like this. Like that. Look at that. Doesn't that look good? So first we are going to drizzle some oil. I'm using, uh, I was going to say coconut, co uh, canola oil. And I know it, I know that you're probably like, wow, that's a lot. That's okay. That's what we want. And we're going to do some onion powder. Really coat them. We're going to do our garlic powder. We're going to do some black pepper. Oh, this smells good already. We're going to do some smoked pe uh, paprika. And I'm going to change this out. We're going to do some normal salt. I was going to do... Um, garlic salt, but I'm not going to do that because I'll show you why. Okay, and then we're going to do some Italian garlic seasoning as well. I'm just going to sprinkle that on here. And I forgot my tongs that we're going to use. Now what we're going to do is we're going to just Toss these up, get these nice and coated. Whoops. If you want, you could do this in a bowl and then put pour it on here. That might be might have been an easier thing, but that's fine. Just want to make sure all this is coated in the oil and in the seasonings, cause then it will taste delicious. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let these cook for about 15 minutes, see if they get nice and soft. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to chop up our brats and put them on here and let those cook. Cause these are, these shouldn't take long to cook especially if we're chopping them up. And since we have zucchini and potato, that's gonna take a little bit longer. But we, this will turn out delicious. It smells delicious already, honestly. So, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and pop this in the air fryer at about, I'd say 375 for 15 minutes. And then we're gonna add this and we're gonna do another 15, 20 minutes. All right, so look at this, this has been, 15 minutes, I'm gonna just mix it around. The potatoes are still a little hard. But I'm just gonna mix this around and I'm gonna pop it back in there. And then I'm going to 
wait until these are a little bit softer and we're gonna go ahead and then cut our sausage. Let me go ahead and pop this back in. Okay, so I'm going to chop up our brats. And I'm just gonna take it and chop them up just like this. They do have cheese in them. And, uh, but you can do any, any kind you want. You could do cheese, you could do, uh, original, you could do sweet, you could do mild, you could do hot, any one you want. And I know this is kind of coming out of the casing too, but that's okay. Yeah. There we go. I'm gonna try to push this off to the side and just get out. And then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out the pan and just sprinkle it. Well, not sprinkle it, but put it all on the top. And then that way it will cook. And hopefully all the juices from the sausage gets into the vegetables as well as they finish cooking. It would be delicious. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. And I'm going to grab, push this up to the side, push this here. Now if you want, you could keep these whole and put them on the... Pan, or if you want to do a different pan, that's fine too. But I feel like chopping these up. So first I'm going to go ahead and mix this all together. Things are getting nice and soft. It smells delicious. Alright, and then I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it and I'm just going to decorate. Decorate the top of it but I think I'm also then going to kind of mix it together just so oops just so the sausage can kind of get some oil on it and get some seasonings on it and I think it will be this will be delicious but I'm going to be delicate with this because I don't want to really I don't want to ruin the sausage you know oh as I get everything on the on the counter. But yes, this is gonna be this smells so good. You can really smell the paprika, you can smell the garlic, you can smell the um Italian garlic. Alright. I'm gonna pop this back in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes until the sausage is done and then we are going to try it. Alright, so this is how it looks. This actually looks pretty good, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, let me... Uh, does that not look delicious? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to Get a plate. And I'm going to just kind of gather some up. Make sure you get some potatoes and some sausage with some onion and peppers. Oops. Just like that. There we go. So now we are gonna taste test this. All right, so this is what it looks like. Look at that, doesn't that not look delicious? Doesn't it? Okay, let's try this. Now remember, like the potatoes, potatoes are soft, it, they're fork tender. Mm, mm. That's good. But let's go ahead and kind of get everything together. Oops. So we have a potato, pretty much one of everything. Ready? Here we go. Hot. 
ครับอืมอืมมันแทบจะเบื่อเกินอืมแล้วคุณเคยรู้ไหมที่ไก่ทอดไทยที่ชื่อไก่ทอดไทยคุณรู้ไหมว่าคุณเคยรู้ไหมว่าไก่ทอดไทยที่ชื่อไก่ทอดไทยคุณรู้ไหมว่าไก่ทอดไทยที่ชื่อไก่ทอดไทยคุณรู้ไหมว่าไก่ทอดไทยที่ชื่อไก่ทอดไทยคุณรู้ไหมว่าไก่ทอดไทยที่ชื่อไก่ทอดไทยคุณรู้ไหมว่าไก่ทอดไทยที่ชื่อไก่ทอดไทยคุณรู้ไหมว่าไก่ทอดไทยที่ชื่อไก่ทอดไทยคุณรู้ไหมว่าไก่ทอดไทยที่ชื่อไก่ทอดไทยคุณรู้ไหมว่าไก่ทอดไทยที่ชื่อไก่ทอดไทยคุณรู้ไหมว่าไก่ทอดไทยที่ชื่อไก่ทอดไทยคุณรู้ไหมว่าไก่ทอดไทยที่ชื่อไก่ทอดไทยคุณรู้ไหมว่าไก่ทอดไทยที่ชื่อไก่ทอดไทยคุณรู้ไหมว่าไก่ทอดไทยที่ชื่อไก่ทอดไทยคุณรู้ไหมว่าไก่ทอดไทยที่ชื่อไก่ทอดไทยคุณรู้ไหมว่าไก่ทอดไทยที่ชื่อไก่ทอดไทยคุณรู้ไหมว่าไก่ทอดไทยที่ชื่อไก่ทอดไทยคุณรู้ไหมว่าไก่ทอดไทยที่ชื่อไก่ทอดไทยคุณรู้ไหมว่าไก่ทอดไทยที่ชื่อไก่ทอดไทยคุณรู้ไหมว่าไก่ทอดไทยที่ชื่อไก่ทอดไทยคุณรู้ไหมว่าไก่ทอดไทยที่ชื่อไก่ทอดไทยคุณรู้ไหมว่าไก่ทอดไทยที่ชื่อไก่ทอดไทยคุณรู้ไหมว่าไก่ทอดไทยที่ชื่อไก่ทอดไทยคุณรู้ไหมว่าไก่ทอดไทยที่ชื่อไก่ทอดไทยคุณรู้ไหมว่าไก่ทอดไทยที่ชื่อไก่ทอดไทยคุณรู้ไหมว่าไก่ทอดไทยที่ชื่อไก่ทอดไทยคุณรู้ไหมว่าไก่ทอดไทยที่ชื่อไก่ทอดไทยคุณรู้ไหมว่าไก่ทอดไทยที่ชื่อไก่ทอดไทยคุณรู้ไหมว่าไก่ทอดไทยที่ชื่อไก่ทอดไทยคุณรู้ไหมว่าไก่ทอดไทยที่ชื่อไก่ทอดไทยคุณรู้ไหมว่าไก่ทอดไทยที่ชื่อไก่ทอดไทยคุณรู้ไหมว่าไก่ทอดไทยที่ชื่อไก่ทอดไทยคุณรู้ไหมว่าไก่ทอดไทยที่ชื่อไก่ทอดไทยคุณรู้ไหมว่าไก่ทอดไทยที่ชื่อไก่ทอดไทยคุณรู้ไหมว่าไก่ทอดไทยที่ชื่อไก่ทอดไทยคุณรู้ไหมว่าไก่ทอดไทยที่ชื่อไก่ทอดไทยคุณรู้ไหมว่าไก่ทอดไทยที่ชื่อไก่ทอดไทยคุณรู้ไหมว่าไก่ทอดไทยที่ชื่อไก่ทอดไทยคุณรู้ไหมว่าไก่ทอดไทยที่ชื่อไก่ทอดไทยคุณรู้ไหมว่าไก่ทอดไทยที่ชื่อไก่ทอดไทยคุณรู้ไหมว่าไก่ทอดไทยที่ชื่อไก่ทอดไทยคุณรู้ไหมว่าไก่ทอดไทยที่ชื่อไก่ทอดไทยคุณรู้ไหมว่าไก่ทอดไทยที่ชื่อไก่ทอดไทยคุณรู้ไหมว่าไก่ทอดไทยที่ชื่อไก่ทอดไทยคุณรู้ไหมว่าไก่ทอดไทยที่ชื่อไก่ทอดไทยคุณรู้ไหมว่าไก่ทอดไทยที่ชื่อไก่ทอดไทยคุณรู้ไหมว่าไก่ทอดไทยที่ชื่อไก่ทอดไทยคุณรู้ไหมว่าไก่ทอดไทยที่ชื่อไก่ทอดไทยคุณรู้ไหมว่าไก่ทอดไทยที่ชื่อไก่ทอดไทยคุณรู้ไหมว่าไก่ทอดไทยที่ชื่อไก่ทอดไทยคุณรู้ไหมว่าไก่ทอดไทยที่ชื่อไก่ทอดไทยคุณรู้ไหมว่าไก่ทอดไทยที่ชื่อไก่ทอดไทยคุณรู้ไหมว่าไก่ทอดไทยที่ชื่อไก่ทอดไทยคุณรู้ไหมว่าไก่ทอดไทยที่ชื่อไก่ทอดไทยคุณรู้ไหมว่าไก่ทอดไทยที่ชื่อไก่ทอดไทยคุณรู้ไหมว่าไก่ทอดไทยที่ชื่อไก่ทอดไทยคุณรู้ไหมว่าไก่ทอดไทยที่ชื่อไก่ทอดไทยคุณรู้ไหมว่าไก่ทอดไทยที่ชื่อไก่ทอดไทยคุณรู้ไหมว่าไก่ทอดไทยที่ชื่อไก่ทอดไทยคุณรู้ไหมว่าไก่ทอดไทยที่ชื่อไก่ทอดไทยคุณรู้ไหมว่าไก่ทอดไทยที่ชื่อไก่